you brought up the kinetic molecular model of matter. When you mentioned that we students seated in our chairs were like solid molecules vibrating about a fixed position. Good that you remember how molecules in a solid move. Yes, they vibrate about fixed positions and they can't move. So based on the kinetic molecular model of matter, how exactly does heat transfer from one end of a solid to another end? We actually have a term for the fixed and repetitive structure of the solid. A lettuce. Lettuce? Not the vegetable. A lettuce is a molecular structure that is repetitive and orderly. So when the solid is heated, what happens to the molecules? They would vibrate faster and more vigorously. Good. So when you heat a portion of the solid, only the molecules near the place of heating will vibrate more vigorously. The rest of the molecules would still vibrate at their usual speed and intensity. Hmm, that means only that particular region in the solid is hot? Correct. So for the heat to spread to the rest of the solid, the molecules that are more energetic collide more frequently and more intensely with their neighbours. As a result, there would be transfer of kinetic energy during the collision from more energetic molecules to less energetic molecules. Over time, the increased kinetic energy will spread from the initially heated region to the rest of the solid. Oh, so it is not the molecules passing the heat physically, but the molecules passing their intensity of vibrations to each other. That's right. This method of transferring energy would apply to both good and poor conductors of heat. But what makes metals good conductors of heat is a special feature that only metals have. Oh, how does that work? Why are metals special? Metals are special because instead of having just molecules next to each other, metals have their atoms split into ions and free electrons. 